Hey, welcome to Pamati Tutorial. Makinig, manood, at matuto. Okay, we are now in module 7, which is the principal roots and irrational numbers. Okay, principal roots and irrational numbers. Okay, we have here the rational and irrational numbers. Now, before that, let's have a, a review, kunting review lang, kung ano yung real numbers. Real numbers are all, all numbers that can be found in the number line. Alam natin yan. And those numbers are 0, 3, 8, negative 2, negative 4, negative uh, 2 thirds, square root of 2, 0 0.65. Okay? Those are the real numbers. Now, the real number is, is divided into two, or there would be a subset of those real numbers, which is the two subsets. The first one is the rational numbers. And what is a rational numbers? Rational numbers is a number that can be expressed in the form of A over B, where A and B are integers and B is not equal to zero. Okay, so rational numbers, nandito yung um, fractions form. Okay? Yung mga fraction form, pwede rin yung whole number, kasi alam natin that the whole number, meron siyang denominator na 1. Okay? Those are including 0, because 0 over 1 is 0. Okay? Rational number is square root of 9. Bakit? The square root of 9 is 3. Okay? 3. Therefore, it is rational numbers. Negative square root of 5, that is also rational numbers. It is because it is negative 5. Okay? Rational numbers. 0 0.75, rational numbers. Kasi nga, um, nag-stop siya. Okay? Then, Rational numbers, we have the real numbers. The second subset is irrational numbers. What is irrational numbers? It's a number whose decimal representation is neither terminating nor repeating. These numbers cannot be expressed as a quotient of integer. Okay, hindi siya terminating katulad nitong 0.75. Okay? 0.75, it means nag-stop siya. 75 lang. Kaya hanggang 75 lang. Hindi na siya nag-continue pa. Okay, that is terminating. Okay? Then, irrational numbers, hindi siya terminating. Example that one is pi. Then, alam natin that the value of pi is 3.1415 and so on. Marami pa yan. Pwede punuin isang room ninyo ng mga numbers. Okay, that is for the pi. Then, the same with the square root of 2, because the square root of 2, it is um, equal to 1 point, uh, four, um, that is equal to, the square root of 2 is 1.4142, and so on. Okay? It is non-terminating. Hindi siya nagtatapos. And non-repeating. Hindi rin paulit-ulit yung number. Okay? That is... Um, irrational numbers. Okay? Rational numbers, you can have that one. Okay, those are the rational numbers. Alam natin, binigyan natin kanina. Those are the rational numbers. But, try to observe when our given example that we have here the square root of 9. And we have also here the square root of negative, uh, negative square root of Okay, we have a square root of 9 and we have the square root or negative square root of 25. Okay, that is for the rational numbers. It is because these numbers is tinatawag na radicals. Because in finding the radical, in finding the principal root, we must know also what is a radical. Radical is a combination of radical sign together with the number. Ano ba yung radical sign? 
radical sign, this sign, okay? Ito na sign is a radical sign. Then, a number, okay, sabi natin, combination of a radical sign together with the number. The number is what we call the radicand, okay? Inside the radical sign is the radicand. Okay, that is a radical. Radical sign, radical. And inside is radical. Okay, dahil dyan, we have here the radical, then the radical, which is inside the radical sign. Then another example, we have here the square of 2, that is a radical, then the radical is 2. But, we need to find the principal root. That, that would be our topic. What is a principal root? It's a number which produces a specific quantity when multiplied by itself. It is the positive nth root of a number. Okay. Ano bang ibig sabihin nun? Ibig sabihin, the principal root ay answer of the radicals. Okay? The principal root sa madaling salita, ito yung sagot ng radicals. Kung hahanapin natin a principal root o ang sagot ng square root of 9, then ang sagot niyan is positive or negative 3. Kung ang square root of 2 naman, you have your 1.41, 42, 35, and so on. Okay? None terminating and then repeating. Kaya tinawag itong irrational. Okay, yun ang principal rule. Okay, let's have here our examples. Using a scientific calculator, kung meron kayo, kung wala naman, pwede gamitin yung mga 100 points ninyo. Okay, input the following and get the principal rule. Okay. Example, square root of 25. Square root of 25 is equal to 5. Okay, using your calculator, square root of 36 is equal to 6. Square root of 2 is equal to, okay, dapat 1. Square root of 64, then it is 8. Square root of 50, it is 7.071067 and so on. And the square root of 5 is 2.236067. Okay? Using your calculator, your own scientific calculator, or on your Android phone or smartphones. Okay. Remember, when a principal root is a whole number or fraction, then the principal root is described as rational. Okay. It is described as rational. Kapag ang principal root a whole number or fraction ibig sabihin rational. Kapag ang principal root ay non-terminating or non-repeating decimal, then the principal root is irrational number. Okay, tandaan yan. Ngayon, dito sa mga examples natin, Alin dyan ang rational? Alin dyan ang irrational? Okay. How about letter A? Rational. Okay. How about letter B? Rational. How about letter C? Irrational. How about letter D? Rational. Letter E? Irrational. And letter F? that is irrational. Okay. Now, perfect squares. Alamin natin to sa mga radicals. Perfect square is a square of a rational number. Okay. You can have here a raised to the power of 2 or a squared is equal to a times a. Okay. If we will have here our given a squared, ibig sabihin, 1 times 1, our perfect square is 1. Okay. These are the examples of the perfect squares. If we will have 3 squared, that is 9. 4 squared, that is 16. 
5 square that is 25, 6 square that is 36, 7 square that is 49, 8 square that is 64, and 9 square that is 81, and 10 square that is 100. Okay, then if you are tasked to find the radical of this one, what is the radical of square root of 1? Okay. What is the radical of the square root of 1? Observe the radical. What is our radical? 1. Okay. Since the radical is 1, that is included ba in our perfect square na table? Nandito yan? Okay, nandyan. Therefore, the square root of 1, since 1 is a perfect square, the principal root is, ano yung a natin? Ano yung a natin dito? Okay, 1. Therefore, the principal root is 1. Ngayon, ang tanong, 1 is rational or irrational? That is rational. Next, square root of 4. If you love your our radical, which is 4, Belong ba siya dito sa mga perfect square natin? 4. Okay, what would be our principal root? Since 4 is a perfect square, therefore, our principal root is 2. Okay, 2. 2 is rational or irrational? Rational. Okay, next. Square root of 9. 9. Perfect square. Ano yung principal root? 3. Okay, and that is rational. How about the square root of 16? Perfect square of 16. Then the principal root is 4. Then it is rational. Okay. It is easy to find the principal root of all the rational numbers. It is because the rational numbers, the radical, are perfect squares. For sa madaling salita, if the principal root of all perfect squares such that was such that you can have this one the square root of 1 square root of 4 square root of 9 square root of 16 square root of 25 square root of 36 square root of 34 30, uh, square root of 64 and so on to the square root of n squared are all rational okay kaya nga kapag rational numbers madali lang natin hanapin yung mga principal root kasi yung radical is a perfect squares. How about kung hindi naman siya rational? Okay? When a number is not a perfect square or the radical is not a perfect square, then it is then its principal root is irrational. Okay? Kapag hindi perfect square yung mga radical katulad nito, hindi perfect square yung mga radical sa madaling salita ang principal root niyan ay irrational okay, example square root of 2 is the radical a perfect square, yes or no? no because 2 is not a perfect square, then it is irrational how about square root of 3 perfect square ba tong radical? Hindi. Therefore, it is no and it is irrational. Square root of 18. 18 is a perfect square? No. Therefore, it is irrational. How about the square root of 69? 69 is a perfect square? No. It is irrational. Okay. Yun lang. Madali lang malaman kung rational or irrational. Okay. If a principal root in irrational numbers... The easiest way you can do is to determine between what two integers the square root of a number line. Okay, alamin natin kung irrational number siya, di, ang mas madali natin gawin is we need to identify the easiest way or ano yung mag pwede possible or napagitnaan yung uh, irrational numbers, dalawang numbers. Example, if we will have here the square root of 2, what is, or between what two integers the square root 2 is? Okay, if we will have here 
Think of two consecutive perfect square integers where 2 is in between them. Okay. 2. Then, before ang 2, ano yung number natin? Okay. Before ang 2, anong number natin? 1. Yan. After ng 2, ano yung number natin? Okay. 1 is a perfect square because 1 is equal, square root of 1 is equal to 1. Okay, directly, that is a perfect square. After ng 2, we have your 3. 3 is a perfect square? No. 4. 4 is a perfect square? Yes, it is a perfect square. Then, square root of 4 is equal to 2. Therefore, ang square root of uh, 1, sorry, the square root of 2 ay napapagitnaan ng square root of 1 and square root of 4. Okay. Since the square root of 1 is 1, okay, therefore, square root of 2 is between, since the square root of 1 is 1, okay, therefore, it is between 1, and the square root of 4 is 2, then you will have also here 2. Square root of 2 is between 1 and 2. Okay. <clears throat> Another example. Square root of 18. You have here 18 and we're given. 18, we all know that that is not a perfect square. Therefore, before 18, we will find a perfect square. 17, perfect square, hindi. hindi. How about 16? Yes, it is a perfect square that is equal to 4. Okay, the square root of 16 is equal to 4. Okay, alam na natin, then sa kabila na naman tayo na side. You have 19. 20, mga hindi yan perfect square. 21, hindi rin. 22, hindi rin. 23, 24, hindi. 25. 25 is a perfect square? Yes, it is because square root of 25 is 5. At dahil dyan, napapagitnaan ng 16 at saka ng 25 ay square root of 18. Then, square root of 16 is 4. And the square root of 25 is 5. Therefore, square root of 18 is between 4 and 5. Okay. Yan. Another one. If we will have square root of 40, you have your 40 before 40. Alamin natin kung ano yung mga perfect squares na nandyan. Okay. Hindi yan. Okay. 36 is a perfect square because that is square root of 36 is equal to 6. We have 41, 42, 43, 44, 45. Hanapin natin hanggang umabot tayo na merong perfect square. Which is 49 and that square root of 49 is 7. Okay. Since 40, napapagitnaan ni 36 at saka ni 49. And 36, the square root of 36 is 6. And the square root of 49 is 7. Therefore, square root of 40 is between 6 and 7. Okay. Thank you for watching Pamati Tutorial. Okay. Makinig, manood, at matuto. Please subscribe and like and share this video para ma-share nyo sa iba. Maraming salamat. See you next video.